This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined today by Judy Nelson. She is a member of the Glendora City Council. And I've been speaking about this issue for quite some time, but it's coming home now. Yeah. And it deals with the issue of stormwater. We should be so lucky to have stormwater. <laughs> but when it comes, when it comes, there are now new rules in place that mandate that cities do what? Cities must either retain the water within the city so it doesn't okay. run off, or if it does leave the city, it has to uh, qualify for very intense uh, clean water standards. Right. And so that presents tremendous challenges for cities because at this stage, cities are just not equipped. You know, for better or for worse, it's not a criticism, it just yeah. is. We have been doing things for over a decade mm. to improve the water that leaves our city or right. that stays. However, the infrastructure pro projects to do it are so expensive that we've been doing it not as rapidly right. as we are going to have to do it now. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about that. I know you were in Sacramento recently yes. and you spoke with the State Water Resources Control Board That's who correct. was driving this engine. And the costs for Glendora as we speak today mm -hmm. are fairly high. Again, we don't know all the statistics in terms of what would be in the runoff, but as we believe it to be today, what are the costs? That's a very good way to put it right. because we don't have all the data. The costs that our consultant gave us are $95 million in the next 10 years. Our general fund is $26 million a year, so that's a third of our general fund every year. That is a huge number. It's a hit. Yeah, and as I understand it, Glendora is not alone. This is not a Glendora no, story. This, this is, is a standard. Story. This is a standard Throughout story. Throughout LA County. So here's the question. What are you going to do? That's the big question. Right. It's actually frightening. We have to look for funding sources. Right. Grants, but most grants are limited and go to more disadvantaged cities than they would go to Glendora usually. Let me ask you, we just passed the water bond. Does the water bond have any, because that was really drought yes. driven, but is there any money in the bond? There's a thought that a water, the water bond might have maybe $250 million in it. But there's 440 cities. And, and we're right. talking about just for five cities in our right. area, over a billion dollars. So wow. It's not going to touch it. Federal grants, is that possible? They're, um, they're, the federal government um, has not provided anything. They're, some legislation in the works that might give loans, but we really don't right. look for loans because that's a burden. What about going to your residence? It's not preferable, I would presume, no. but do no. you go to your residence? Do you seek a bond? Do you try to add something, uh, an extra line item to property tax? Do you seek to increase sales tax? All oh, tough decisions, very. but... That would be a vote of the residents. Right. And two years ago, LA County did um, try to implement something that was resisted very right. strongly, but if was we this went the extension of the clean prop, water, uh, oh. the clean water, clean beaches oh, uh, okay. measure two uh -huh. years ago came forward, and it was very right. widely rejected. So if we were to go to the residents for this amount of money, it would be about five hundred dollars per parcel per person over the next ten years of the permit. And for That's churches, for large property churches, hospitals, schools, it would be much, much more than that. So it, it, What's I, the answer? I, I mean, I empathize. What's the answer? I think we need to contact our legislators. Mm -hmm. and each citizen needs to contact the legislators, legislators mm -hmm. and say we need help. We need more time. Right. We need some financial assistance. We just have to, have to put some pressure Do on our legislators. Do you have a deadline as we speak today? It's in, we're it, in it. It, it, we're the in deadline's it. here. It's, it is on, it's moving. Okay, her yes. name is Judy Nelson. She is a member of like the Glendora City Council. My name is Brad Pomerantz. You're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.